What's going on guys? My name is Zed and welcome to this video. This is Movie IQ, the show where hopefully you learn some movie trivia. Um, so without any further ado, uh, let's just get into it. Director James Cameron would offer the role of Jake Sully in his 2009 sci-fi epic Avatar to actor Matt Damon. But not only did Matt Damon get offered the role, James Cameron sweetened the deal and promised Damon 10% of the movie's total box office gross. And we all know Matt Damon ultimately turned down the role of Jake Sully and Avatar went on to gross 2.8% billion dollars. This means Matt Damon turned down an estimated paycheck of 250 to 280 million dollars. <sighs> Matt Damon would later be quoted as saying, I will go down in history. You will never meet an actor who turned down more money. Before his role as Mr. Blue in Quentin Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs, actor Eddie Bunker was a real-life bank robber. Bunker would spend much of the early half of his life in and out of prison. When in 1975, at the age of 42, he left that life behind him and turned anew. Bunker wrote crime novels like No Beast So Fierce. No Beast So Fierce would become the basis for the 1978 film Straight Time starring Dustin Hoffman and Gary Busey, which Bunker also had a minor role in. Bunker also wrote the novel Dog Eat Dog, which was adapted in 2016 and starred Nick Cage and Willem Dafoe. Reservoir Dog director Quentin Tarantino was a big fan of Bunker's novels, but 11 years before his small role as Mr. Blue, Bunker wrote a semi-autobiographical novel titled Little Boy Blue. In 2004, a small town teenager became an overnight sensation. His name? Napoleon Dynamite. John Hedder, who starred in the title role, was only paid $1,000 for his performance in this indie comedy flick. Napoleon Dynamite would then go on to gross over $46 million. What? That's a lot of tots. In 2001, Pixar Animation Studios would release their fourth feature-length computer animated film, Monsters, Inc. During the events of the movie, Celia, Mike Wazowski's beautiful Medusa-esque girlfriend, celebrates her birthday. For Celia's birthday, Mike makes reservations at the Japanese restaurant Harryhausen's. The name of the restaurant is actually a homage to the late great VFX artist Ray Harryhausen. Harryhausen is known for his contributions of bringing to life some of the most pioneering visual effects in all of movie history. Like the living skeletons from 1963's Jason and the Argonauts, and dozens of creatures from 1981's Clash of the Titans, including Medusa. All right, guys, that is it for this episode of Movie IQ. I hope you learned something. I definitely enjoyed putting these facts together. I learned some stuff as well. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And next time, I'll be talking to you when I talk to you. Peace.